So if you want to start playing around with the OpenAI GPT-3 modules, then there's a nice integration with ManyChat right now, if you want to use a ManyChat app. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is install the flow that is included in the app description. And once you clicked that link to install the flow, you will be seeing this short chat flow in your ManyChat account. And all you have to do is set this up. And I will show you right now how you can easily do that. First of all, you install this flow. Then the app is automatically installed as well. And what you have to do is go to the app settings, which you will find in settings. Then you go to apps. You find your app, in this case, the OpenAI dialogue app, and you will enter this information. You don't have to include your email address. It's just if you use a trial key, it will notify you once your trial is about done. And the OpenAI key, this is the one right here. You can get one if you sign up to OpenAI, which you can do at openai.com. And once you created your account, you will see you, your username on the upper right hand. Just click on it, click few API keys, and here you can create your new key. Copy that one and paste it here in the OpenAI section and click Save. You will get this green settings saved successfully notification. And at this point, you are good to go. Now all you have to do is click this action window, click the app settings or the action settings. You can select your engine right here. Of course, DaVinci is the best one, which also means it's the most expensive one. So you can just see for yourself which one gives you the best answers in the return. And you can, well, decide which one you want to use yourself. The temperature, this means the, um, well, the correctness of the answers. Um, if you put this to 1.0, it will just make up answers. And well, it's not always uh, very trustworthy. I think that's an understatement, but it will just make up information for you. It can be a lot of fun, but if you would like to get at least somewhat close to the truth, I would just lower the temperature a little bit. And the returned tokens, um, you can select up to 200 right now. And this means the length of the answer. So if you expect uh, uh, people to ask you questions which are quite lengthy, I would just choose a higher number of tokens. If you would like to keep your costs to a minimum, then of course you would like um, to keep your tokens to a minimum because you pay for each token or for each thousand tokens, something like that. It's still pretty cheap if you ask me, but if you just well want to save some money and would like to get some more short answers, just play around with this as well. Then you can save the answer into a test or into a um, custom field. As you can see, we just use test field right here. Click save. And whenever people come across this section in your chatbot, they will ask any question and the answer is saved in the custom user field, which we will just echo right here so you can see how this works. And that's actually all that there is to it. If you do not use uh, the template, this little flow for whatever reason, I mean, I would just do it. It takes like five seconds and then it's all done. But if for some reason you don't want to, you can of course also put this action anywhere in your flow. Just go to actions, scroll down somewhere 
at the bottom you will find the app you just installed and you select an action this is the only one so you just select that one and then you just go ahead from there so you just save these settings select the custom user field click save and that's about the exact same thing but if you just want to include this somewhere in an existing flow this is the way it can be done so now of course you would like to see a sample i can imagine so i will start up my phone and share this uh, on screen right here so now you can all see my screen and as you can also see i've been trying this out for a couple of times and just asked some questions and well let's just ask some other question for example um well let's just ask a very generic question what does the bible say about judas the bible this is not the correct spelling of course the bible say about judas question mark well let's see what it says about that how knowledgeable is it really and it's getting the data and here you go the bible has a lot to say about judas in the gospels judas is portrayed as one of jesus 12 disciples who betrayed him for money and so on so as you can see you can just ask any question like what is the sunniest sunniest country in europe of course i'm asking because it's winter here and i don't like that very much so what is the sunniest country in europe where can i go this winter and it will spain of course i should have known well, as you can see, these are just some questions you can have your users ask the chatbot. I would say choose and use it wisely. Um, it does not always give you the correct answer. Of course, if you don't know the answer, it would look like it's the correct answer. So if you want to go that route, knock yourself out. It's indeed very fun. But if you want to use it as a default reply, I would highly, su highly suggest using our Dialogflow app instead, because then of course you have more, um, well, you can steer it more towards what real answers are based on your intent recognition and training data. So if you have any questions about this app or any of our other apps, please let me know. And I wish you a lot of fun.